All right. Um, here we have a next our W. 3G, uh, let me see if I can get that, yeah, W3G, and it's currently loading. I've uploaded TomTom Tom Navigator software on this because the original software is not that great, so it runs on a Windows CE core. Uh, I hate this. I thought I had. Right, give me one second. Windows CE Core uh, 4.2 uh, and here you go it loads it has the TomTom Tom software so you just click the agree it's currently connected to the computer because I have it connected to the USB here you go TomTom Tom Navigator all right so anyhow I'm just gonna leave this put this to the side for now um, you connect to the computer and you download this program called um, I'm just gonna get to the website here C editor uh, it can be found on C editor dot uh, soft dot pl and yeah, I'm, I'm taking the address here in the filming so you can see it it's a free program you open it up and it can allow you to edit the registry for Windows CE right so I'm, I'm going to include the files in the rapid share uh, or hot file account and once you connect your device to the computer and you open CE editor you can just click F1 or connect now what we're going to do because the device this registry is set to open the um, GPS software that comes with the device so it loads it as soon as Windows loads we're gonna take that off and make it so it loads into the Explorer so you go to uh, HK local machine and then you scroll down to initiate you click on that and then on the side it says launch 50 and it has an address of um, the program. You change this whole part right here to Explorer. Explorer.exe. You need to do this if you want to install a TomTom software, which you're going to have to find. Okay, so after you've done that, you just do soft reboot of the device and we'll launch the device reboot right now and it's taking its sweet time okay should boot into windows there we go and it has the pen on the side that you can use. That is the flash memory that's inside the software, which you can access from the computer. You need, of course, Active Sync do it and this is the navigator software for TomTom Tom devices all right so here's a few files you need to change first of all back up your original software that came with the device the main files that you need to change is this one the local machine initiate launch 50 to explore the DHE their exe um explore shell folders hmm. and i'm just going to check the other files here explore. 
and when you go to local machine explorer and then click on shell folders it's going to have this on the side desktop favorites um, documents sorry about that programs and startup and you just got to make sure they're point to the following directories windows desktop windows favorites okay and yeah after you find the software you set it up on your device it should install by itself and then you put for the launch 50 where you put explorer.exe you copy the link for the new software that you're trying to run from it so i'm using uh, tomtom navigator and i installed it on the following directory I'm just gonna paste that on on the phone directory. So I just on the launch fifty replace explorer.exe with the directory for Tomtom Navigator. Click OK. It's saved. Now when I reboot my device it's gonna load into Tomtom Navigator. You can also load other types of uh, software on it. Um, if you can get a hold of Magellan setup software, because I know Quantum Navigator is available online. I don't know if you can take uh, the software out of the Magellan here and copy it somehow, because this it uses Windows too, this device. So, And that's it. You just hacked your Nexta W3G to have uh, another operating system. Okay, and if you have any questions, just post on the part below on the comments, and I will read them, or, or you can email me a certain problem. And I'll try to figure it out, because I did this a while ago, and I can't remember all the steps. So, uh, so far, I've got... I, I used to use these registry files, which I downloaded from somewhere. I can't remember those uh, forms, but right now they don't exist anymore. And these registry files basically edit all the stuff for you. Let me see if I can open it. Yeah, it just edits all the stuff. Um, and if you need any files, I will also put the following explorer.exe and I task manager or taskbar uh, online for download along with the other file so far so good um, give it a try and let me know how it works